Hey yeah, guys, so we're back with another video, and today we're gonna be playing Jurassic World Live. I haven't seen any of these videos in a while, so yeah. Um, so today we're gonna be playing the game, and we're gonna be doing a bunch of stuff with him. Well, not really a bunch because my recorder cannot save up a lot for some reason. Alright, um, Hatching Diplodocus, Theo's main, okay. I'm on my way on getting um something called a Mammotherium, and it's this hybrid. I'm so close on getting it. Cause look, mam mammoth is the close is close. Mammoth is close. I just need a, a second level twenty, and once I get that, then it's gonna, be gonna make a level thirty, and then I fuse the level thirties together. The level twenties I'm gonna do an instant fuse with, and the level thirty I'm gonna do an instant fuse as well since I have three instant fuses then I could instant fuse my last one then I could finally instant fuse that mammotherium I get a mammotherium I only just need two more mammoths but since I don't have enough DNA up here so I have this I'm down to the hundreds like really I've been wasting a bunch of DNA like a bunch like literally not kidding so the mammoth is somewhere down here, right? Yeah, that's it. It costs seven thousand six hundred. I'm planning to get two more, and you're probably wondering why. So those two level tens, I'm gonna fuse them together, and And I'm trying to, um, so, as usual, so, the mammoth, so, I'm getting, so, don't, I'm gonna have three level tens. One level ten I'm gonna keep, that way I can save my mammoth, but, and two other level tens, I'm gonna fuse them together into a level twenty, then I level it up to level, tw I, to make a second evolution, so then I level it up to level twenty, then I then I'll fuse it with my other level twenty. Well, instant fuse it, and then I get a level thirty, and I instant fuse that, and then after that we get we instant fuse a mammoth. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. That's my, what I'm planning to do right now. So, anyways, not so good. Uh, I already completed this. I haven't completed this though. Uh, I've already used some of mine, um, I don't have no, cl I have no clue what I should do here. I have no clue what I should do. So obviously at the beginning I should use a carnivore. Something like the Indominus. Then I'm gonna have to get, like, two amphibians, such as, like, the Diplosuchus and maybe even the Caprosuchus. But that, but of course I can't instantly recover. Because I have no instant co recoveries. Um, just do that. Get some coins. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need a lot of food to actually like get a level forty. Because you like need to spend two hundred thousand food, like really. Um. Also, I do have to explain something. Um. So when you go to hybrids here on Cenozoic. You see the rhino protodon, right? So this is what the others are like. The Lophoboa, Mammotherium, and Smithetoceros. They look OP, right? Because look. Smithetoceros has 4,163 health. 20 and 2,702 attack. So it's a lot of attack, but not as much health. But that's okay, because it's still strong. Mammotherium, on the other hand, 8,446 health. And fifteen hundred eighty four attack. It's guy. It's 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 more durable because it's got more health, but it's it's not as strong as Methetoceros due to it having less attack. But the Lafaboa is pretty much a higher above these two. This is the Lafaboa has eleven thousand four hundred twenty seven health and thirty five hundred seventy one attack. Like that's a lot. It's a lot. But look, Rhino Protodon. The only Cenozoic hybrid that is a tournament legendary. Look at this. Do you guys see that? 
Look, it says 1,493 health and 570 attack just at level 40. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, right? Like, you're kidding. Because, look. I'm gonna go to the Wooly Rhino right here. Look. More health and more attack. But Rhino Protodon, less health and less attack. So what is up with that? What is up with that? I looked at someone's video, and level 10s literally have 289 health. Oh my god. So I don't think Rhino Protodon would be fun to have, but it wouldn't but I wouldn't recommend getting it if you want to battle because it's very useless. And literally it's like if we go to just like um all creatures and then we go down here to the DNA cost. So we're gonna go all the way down, all the way down. Which is gonna take a long time, of course. Um, look, so look, um, where is it? It's right here. It's, it's, it's not as too expensive. Dilophobo is the most expensive now. I think it's like 84,000 or 85,000. Because Armor Mata was actually the most expensive. Now Dilophobo is. I think that's ever since Dilophobo came out. So, like, it's crazy. Ryan Protodon, you have to spend so much DNA to get it to level 40, and you literally get something so useless due to it having less, not as good health, and not as good as attack. And it's literally, like, it's other, it's other, like, it's, it's evolution ones. I'm gonna go back to hybrids of the Cenozoic. Oh, wait, no, 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 just Cenozoic. Because, look, I'm gonna go to Diprotodon. There. I mean, Diprotodon is not as strong as the... It's, it's close as, to being as strong as literally the Rhino Protodon. Like, excuse me? Like, really? That is very useless. Because look. Literally, look. Uintothurium has more health. Which is so odd. And more Supi has more attack. So, it, it, this is weird, because look, literally, Rhino Protonon is useless. It has very low health, because look at it compared to the, the, the Lafaboa. Look at that compared to it. That is insane. Look, the Lafaboa, 11,427 health. Rhino Protodon, 1,493 health. The Lafaboa attack, 3,571 and Rhino Protodon, 570. That is so useless. Rhino Protodon is not that good. So I don't really recommend you guys actually, I don't really recommend people getting right. No Protodon. Well, if they do want it to get it, that's just for fun, yeah, pretty much. Um, so, for a while I've been planning to get Ankylosaur Gen 2 right here. See that? And I don't own a single gold, solid gold plus. I don't own a single one. Ankylosaur Gen 2 is my dream. It's the one I really want. I really want Ankylosaur Gen 2. I want to find a card pack that I can use. I already missed one out of them. Because I didn't... Uh, and there was, I did see it. The problem is that I couldn't get it. Because I did not have enough loyalty points. Which are right up in the top corner right here. Um, um, participate in any PV arenas three times. Collect them easy. We'll go for Cenozoic. Uh, we're gonna go for that, that, and that. Bane of Thylopotamus and Woolly Rhinoceros. Woolly Rhinoceros, I got it from the 12th day of Christmas. Um, like, not there before. I got that, and I was, I was happy that I got it. Because there was a tournament going on, although... Oh my god. Okay, um... I chose all glaciers. I, what, I mean snows. I chose all snows. And he chose three different types. The caverns, the, like, um, what was this? What was it called? Like, I think it was called savannas. Yeah, it was. And then the snows. Even though, like, the, like this more stupid lion and all of its other relative likes, it doesn't even look like a snowy area. It just looks completely like a, like a, a, a savanna area. It looks more like a savanna. And boom, there we go, I'm dead. And there we go, taken out. 
So, Phylocosmus has a lot of attack, but not as much health, though. I'm gonna just do four, just in case if you use the shield. I know you do. And bye bye, Rimothurium. Um, you and Tothurium. Um. Oh, look, I have 900 attack. That's nearly. Look at that, 900 attack. That's so close to to a thousand. Oh, okay. Another four. It's a good idea to use a four. And there goes the marsupial lion. Um, so now we have you and Tommy, but he can beat. Savannah can beat. Oh no, no, Savannah cannot beat Snows. So I don't know what he's going to do. And he doesn't do anything because he thinks I used shields. Boom. Two shields. So we probably use two more. I'll probably use six shields. That would be hilarious. If he uses a four on six, he would and he could potentially kill me, and I knew he was gonna do that. And now he's facing one of his old relatives, a rhino. A rhino and not a rhino, that's funny. And go on a full on eight. You can't skip the, the big attack because it's a PvP. And boom, that's the same. That's like cutting. Some of those moves are the same thing. Cause like that that move is the some cause like usually like the Elasmatherium Wooly Rhino Rhino in like like you know like Jurassic World Live I do some of those videos and you see that that it, that's the same exact move and boom we get eight hundred loyalty points I want to save up loyalty points like a lot so this is my next go to go here. And the one I really want from here, um, I'm not, I don't, Gigantophis, Gigantophis, or whatever it's called, Gigantophis, that's the one I really want, because I want to get both of the two normal snakes, or I can just wait for its tournament and get lucky in, like, a prize wheel and end up getting the card pack, because, like, th today there was, like, an event, like, I'm gonna go to the news for a second, like, the latest news, um, there was, like, an event somewhere, like, a Microposaurus fan event. Oh, I think it already ended. I think it ended, like, I think it was yesterday. I th yeah, that event was yesterday. There was a Microposaurus event where, like, you had to go against dinosaurs. It was easy. It was, it was not too hard. It was a little bit easy. And then I ended up actually getting the Microposaurus. I'm gonna go to Amphibians here, so... Yeah, I unlocked the Microposaurus, and I do have one somewhere. Um, I left it's over right here in Islasona. There, that's the Microposaur. Um, I didn't, I didn't do anything with it yet, so I'm just gonna feed it, and now I'm gonna grab some food. All right. Um. So. I never saw these guys do that before. I, I'm not kidding. I never saw them do that. So I think I just gotta wait. So this is my Metrionicus. Metrionicus, or uh, whatever it is. Um, Metriorinkus. That's what it's called. And there we go. There it is. Metrionicus has, like, the closest, like, map shape. I really want to try and get Dinotherium as well. Um, where is Dinothurium? I mean, Dino Succus, not Dinothurium. Uh, Dinothurium is a super rare Cetozoic. It's like it's it's like a giant elephant-like creature. It has gray skin, like gray dried skin. Um, let me just show you what it looks like. It also has tusks underneath its jaw, and it has a very thick trunk. Trunk. This is it. You see that very thick trunk? It's very big. I usually ma like max level 40s to get high, and and Wooly Mammoth is the one I'm trying to get. So it's the same. <laughs> this is a preview of level 40. As you can see, it's way more whitish. It does have some brown marks a little bit. It's even more hairier, and like it's like head is more platy. It's got its tusks are longer, and it's also got two spikes on its on its tusks. So yeah. So, this is Evo 1, it's just completely brown. Evo 2, it just gets some, like, a little bit of white spots. 
Evolution 3 gets more wider, and then Evolution 4 gets wider with the cluster more. Um, let's just right here, and some rooms to spike each. Yeah, so this is my mammoth. It's pretty cool. Um, so it is 2,000 health, health. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, mammoth Thurium, I can't wait to get that one. Because I'm, I'm looking forward to that. In Jurassic World Alive, I'm kind of close. Because I just need to, like... All just for Jurassic World. Cause Jurassic World Alive, all I need is just to upgrade my... I need to upgrade my Elasmatherium to level 15. I think I do have enough DNA just to have a point because I lost points. And that's what I'm focusing on. Um, pretty much you can see like, on the world lead right now, you probably like recognize something. And yes, it's the same model as the Jurassic World Live, just with different animations. Some of them most. Like, some of them. Um... Um, I think the Rambo Gunny Light isn't that close to the same. Uh, they are gonna, uh, they added the Serval, the Serval, sis, I don't know what it's called. Um, Jurassic World Leo in with a Jurassic World, um, Jurassic World the game. So I'm still trying to get, like, the, the, not the Sticky Moloch, I already have that. I think it's called the Ankle Moloch, I didn't want to get that one. I'm pretty close, I just need about 30 more DNA, 30 more DNA. Because I have a lot of bumpy DNA, I just don't have a lot of sticky moloch DNA. I just need sticky moloch. I just need to get lucky, either get like 30 DNA or maybe even more. While I was fusing carbon to ceratops, which is made out of no pseudoceratops and carbon enemies, I got extremely lucky. And how? I got an 80 on the fuse, which is insane. I was like, I never got an 80 on, on literally a legendary while trying to get it. Like, I never did. It's the first time that's happened. Interruptor was quite hard. I do have another unique called Testicornibus. Um, apparently it's... I got it from darting it because there was, like, an event on Sunday. And... It showed the Testicornibus. I'm only gonna play the Jurassic World Alive for just a little bit just to check some things out. Because... Um, I think it's not run long, because if, if it's above 30 minutes, I have to do something else. Because I can't make the video too long. Uh, it's not 30 minutes. It hasn't been 30 minutes yet, which is good. It's only been like 20... It's been like 21 minutes, so that's okay. I only have a couple of minutes, but I'm only going to say a couple of minutes, because I can't go over 30 mi minutes. Because if I go over 30, then I can't up upload or save the video uh that's not serverless that's megaloceros yeah uh but thing is lagging badly for no reason absolutely see that's megaloceros because serverless uh, serverlesses i think that's what it's called um let me show you what it looks like um yeah that's what it looks like right there it's serverless season my current rewards are these so like I'm going to get a mystery pack with just, like, a, a glacier one. And I'm also going to get, like, um, 1,500 serverless DNA, which is perfect, because then I can start trying to fuse on the new hybrid, the Arctal, the Arctalsis, I think that's what it's called. Jeez, my game is extremely laggy. It's hard to get to places. Um, I There was also a pair... So, what was interesting about the other day, like Sunday, um, I think that was like two days ago. The most interesting thing is that there was a Testicornibus and a Parasaurolophus Lux. I was like, oh, what should I do? And I was like, I'm going for the Unique first. And then when I did the Unique, I realized that I could still get Parasaurolophus Lux. I was like, what? And it's because it was a split up separate. Because it, there was both a Legendary and a Unique on the same day. And there can only be one on the, on the one day. So, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Uh, yeah, Testicornibus does have its own hybrid, and it's it's crazy, right? Because now there's the Apex hybrid, which is insane. And somehow, I discovered two Apexes for absolutely no reason. I discovered Mortem Rex and Serum Magnus for some reason. But I never did. So this is it, the hybrid, Arctovasilus. 
And it's literally an Apex hybrid. And this is our first Apex hybrids. I knew they weren't gonna add a second Apex, a natural Apex, because do you know? Because all the days of the week and the weekends, they all are filled with one legendary. And Ludia did not think of adding one. So, guess that's what has happened. So yeah, Carpet to Ceratops is the closest I'm getting. Um, that's a that's Kulaborgania, I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah. This is the Compsicolis. Um, I think it's made out of Diplothator Den 2 or something, was it? Or no? Uh, yeah, it was made out of Diplocolis Gen 2 and the Compsognathus. Um, so... Yeah, we're just gonna check some things out. We're not gonna do any battles or anything. I don't think a Jurassic World live. So, okay.